All right. They were going to taste test the tapping. Don't underestimate the tapping. That's what we're going to do today. We got a couple small ones. I'll grab one of these. I'll, this one's a little bit bigger here. This one's really small. That one's got a little bit more size. So, so we'll pull that one off. But they're coming in quick on this plant. All right. Give you an idea of the size of this thing. Here's my thumbnail. We got the tepin. It's a little one. Now this thing, I've heard from many people, this thing is extremely hot. I've seen people break out in a sweat from eating this little thing here. So I'm prepared to deal with it. Hopefully it's not a gut cramp. The heat in the mouth will deal with it. And you'll get to see it all in this video. Let's do it. The tepin. Now, I want to make a note before I do my taste test about tapping, and I've done a little research on tapping, and I'm one of those pepper growers that really like to get into growing a lot of wild varieties of peppers and other, a lot of other wild native varieties, onions and, and, and tomatoes, and I like that kind of stuff, even wild cucumbers. I like to do that. You can take the genetics from the wild plant and cross them into a domesticated version and you can start to work on some of your own crosses and maybe there's something uh, that may come out of it. There's no guarantee. Uh, you might end up coming up with something that's pretty interesting. And a lot of people have done that and uh, came up with their own. So it's like artwork is really what it is. But I'm using the genetics from one plant to another to create my art. But I wanted to make a note about the tepin because the tepin is generally not one pepper. It just refers to the North American native peppers. North and I think Central America they include in that. They're all considered tepins. Now if you go within that umbrella of the word tepin, there's probably about 15 or 20 varieties that grow native in the United States. There's a lot of different native varieties here. Some are not even documented. And there's multiple ones that grow in Central and South America. So I just wanted to make it clear when, when I say tepin or when somebody's referring to a tepin, you have to ask them the question, which one of the hundreds of varieties are you talking about? It could be one of many different varieties of tepin. You might get long ones, skinny ones, flat ones, little fat round ones. You might you don't know what you're going to get. What I would suggest if you're going to start getting into the wild peppers like this, you're probably going to want to do a little research. And then there are some companies, I'll try to remember to include the link. I don't remember where the website is. It's a native, it's like they sell a lot of Native American stuff, foods, and they're located in, I think, New Mexico. I can't remember the name. They sell a lot of wild and rare and slowly becoming extinct varieties of melons and peppers and corn, tarpon, and other grains that are disappearing. You're not going to see them anymore. So peppers are one of them. There are multiple varieties of peppers and there's this company online. They sell like several varieties of these North American peppers. So you might want to look into that before you just start buying. You ready? We're going to do it. It's a hot one. I'm letting it release. Whoa, immediately my mouth filled up with water. Not real hot. A little, it's definitely a little heat. It wants to make me sneeze. Very strong or aromatic flavor. Not quite a habanero, not quite perfume smell or taste. Just its own kind of strong aromatic. When you first eat it, no heat, but then the heat starts coming in. It's a slow building heat. Doesn't hit you right away like, like a fatale. You go back and you look at my fatale video, you can see my eyes lit up right away. I got burned right away off that thing. Bang! I was this thing, you eat it, you chew it up, the heat doesn't start coming on until a little a little bit later. My mouth is salivating. The whole end of my tongue. Stinging, stinging it good. Real good. Nothing on the roof of the mouth. Like your tongue is like that on the on the sides, and then going back towards the back of your throat. A little bit of heat works its way that way. The center part of the tongue. The end of the tongue, the end of my tongue is burning so bad right now, it kind of feels like, did you ever drink something really hot, really hot, like boil, almost boiling, and you burn your you burn your tongue like that, and you got like that sensation from that, sort of like numbness, burn feeling, but no taste, it, you like singed it or something, 
That's what this feels like. Like I just took a sip of really, 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 really hot coffee. It's lasting. It's sticking around. It's kind of working its way towards the middle of the tongue a little bit. Definitely not scary heat. There is heat on it. I would give it a number. Let me give this particular one a number. I might do another one for you being it's so small. It's hot though. Ooh, that, that little thing has a lot of power in it. Because of the intensity on my tongue, I got to bring the number up. Heat-wise, originally, I mean, I first ate the thing with the heat. Originally, the heat felt like 500. Didn't feel like that. Now that it built up, and it's like coming in at the tongue, I'm going to say probably around 2,000, 2,500. Probably somewhere around there would probably be fair. And I'm sure they get hotter than that. Goes to the back of the throat, kind of makes you want to sneeze. It peaked already. It's already kind of coming down. End of the tongue and everything's kind of like numb, sort of. That burnt, when you burn your tongue on a coffee kind of a feeling it's but it's starting to come back the tongue is coming back I felt like I stuck my tongue on a, on a barbecue grill I don't think I'm gonna do another one I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it want me to do it I'll do it it's a little one do it immediately to a little one uh oh here it goes as soon as you bite the thing like a juice comes out of it did you ever eat a real ripe Tabasco pepper it's kind of like juicy, watery inside, almost like that nasty purple cane and I bit into it, it's all filled with water and stuff. It's almost like that. <clears throat> as soon as you bite it, it's crunchy a little bit, but as soon as you bite it, the whole innards of it come out, like a Tabasco pepper. If you take a Tabasco pepper and you let it ripen, and you squeeze it, all the guts come out like a sea cucumber. It's hot, but I'm already burned. There's no point in me keep eating them and telling you what it is because it's not going to get any hotter for me. The taste was interesting. Very quick aromatic taste. Not quite habanero aromatic, but kind of fruity like a habanero a little bit. It's got its own unique kind of uh, taste to it. Slightly habanero fruity taste. The juice comes, as soon as you bite it, all the innards come out, go right in your mouth, heat you right up like that. But it takes time for the heat to build. That peak point, it peaks at probably... 2,500 Scoville units, something like that. For me, anyway. I don't know, some people might say it's a lot hotter. For me, I'd probably say 2,500. I'm not going to say 10,000, no way. But these aren't that hot. You could do these. i see seen people break into a sweat with that. That's not... If I could do it, guys, believe me. If I could do two of them on camera, they're not that hot. They're hot, but... You know. Anyway, that's your tapping. Hope you like my review. Check out my main channel, Heirloom Reviews. And I do reviews on tomatoes and, and uh, mostly tomatoes right now because that's what's coming in. But like tomatoes, I, I review any kind of heirloom seed really. And I also give you glimpses of other things like I have a pond and trees that grow and other shrubs and stuff that I got growing. And so I try to give you a lot of things around here, give you something else to watch other than just, you know, reviewing tomato taste. So join me on the other channel, subscribe, like and share. And I will see you on the next one.